All right, this is my iPhone 15, and I've noticed that through a lot of my most recent videos, people have been asking, where did I get my wallpapers from? What icon pack am I using? And where did I get certain widgets from? And I figured I could answer them, but also I can make a video for them and everybody else that's interested. So if I actually look at my iPhone, I like to keep it very clean and minimal. There's not much on here. And the way that I did that was through two apps. One is called Clear Spaces. The other is called Widget. But essentially, these are widgets that kind of make it so you have a little bit of a clean vibe going on with your phone and it's not too cluttered. If I were to look at the top where the weather is and kind of flip through, then you'll see that I can go and look at the weather in a more detailed view or I can keep it how it is standard, kind of see a icon in the top right corner and also the temperature and if it's gonna be cloudy and things like that. So it's very clean and minimal. I can always see the weather at any glance and I like it. And again, if I want to be more detailed, I could flip through. On the bottom right, another widget that I have that somebody asked me about was this widget that kind of indicates the battery health. This is specifically through clear spaces. As long as I flip through it, I can kind of get a visualization of how the battery looks, which to me, I really like it because sometimes you're just kind of on the go. You're not gonna be looking at the percentage in the top right corner. It's a really cool way visually to tell if your battery is almost depleted. Now in the bottom left corner is my other widget. And I think this is probably the one that I'll use the most out of all of them. If you look at it at a glance, you see the time and the date. I have the time like everywhere. I know the date as well. If I flip through it, it's a stack. So I can go through depending on what my mood is and task is for the time and kind of go through the stack of uh, widgets that I kind of picked. So I have my notes app first, and then you can go through, I'll see the calendar and get a visualization of the month, see what day it is, like listen to podcasts. And what I like is that it's actionable. So if I were to press the play button, then it automatically starts to play the, the podcast that I was listening to. And then I have some playlists that I like. This is my top playlist. So when I'm in the car, I can kind of quickly play my playlist. The wallpaper that I've been using was actually designed by me. It's part of a surreal wallpaper pack called So Real. This wallpaper pack features nine photorealistic wallpapers that take you across the globe. Whether it's Niagara Falls, New York City, India, or Paris, you feel like you're traveling or maybe right at home with these high quality wallpapers. It's only 149 US dollars, so check the link in the description and support the channel by picking this up today. Now moving on to the actual apps on my home screen, I have a few folders right at the top. So the first one up is my social folder. And to be completely, completely honest, I don't really use much apps in there besides Instagram, maybe WhatsApp to talk to my family, but other things I don't really use that much. I mean, I love X actually, or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. I use that app as well, but the other things are just kind of like catch up apps. This is probably not my most used folder. The next up is this folder and it's just extra apps. So really it's the apps that I don't use on a week to week basis, but I will have to go in there from time to time. So I kind of have them here. So I don't have to always go looking for them. And that is camera photos, settings, Flipboard, my banking app of choice, the app store, FaceTime, and journal. Now, I don't usually use the journaling, the journal, I, I can't really say it. I don't really use the journaling app too often. Like if, you, if I were to open it, it's never really been used, but I do wanna get in the habit of 2024 to start journaling and kind of capturing things that are going on at the time that they're happening. So I really do like that app. Now, under those folders, I have Spotify and I have Waze. Those are my apps of choice over the other options because Spotify, I honestly love the algorithm. I love the DJ, but uh, I also use Waze. It says Google Maps, don't know why, but it's actually Waze. I'm not gonna open up because it's gonna re reveal the Addy, but I like Waze because it kind of like is more detailed than Google Maps. And then at the bottom right, I have, I have Safari, internet browser app of choice, and then I have YouTube Studio, Amazon, and YouTube. Now, if we were to move on to the bottom row, kind of like having three icons and not four, I think it looks a lot cleaner than having four icons at the bottom. And I have the phone app, text messaging app, and Gmail. So I use Gmail, I don't use any other emailing service. I have like 14,000 Gmails outstanding and I like using Gmail because it just sorts my email like the best. I haven't really found anything that's better than that. And if you know one, let me know down below in the comments. It's kind of hard to talk about what's on my iPhone without actually talking about what's physically on the iPhone. And this is where today's sponsor comes in. This is a case for the iPhone 15 from TAC. 
Not just any case though, this case is super thin and minimal. It has a 0.35 millimeter design and is a minimum of six grams. That's so light, I can barely tell that it's on the iPhone. This makes a huge difference when you're handling the iPhone 15. What I didn't like about the iPhone 15 was that it felt bulky in the hand, but this tack case reverses that feeling and makes it feel like the case is barely even there. For those worrying about protection, it does have a raised button design and a raised camera lip. It also works with MagSafe if you like, and you can add on this MagSafe attachment that is incredibly easy to install. This is hands down my favorite case for keeping my iPhone feeling minimal and clean when I'm on the go. Yeah, if you wanted to support the channel, go ahead and check the link in the description to pick one of these up today. Now, at the start of the video, I did mention that there is a shortcut for people that wanted the 15 Pro, probably didn't get it, but love the idea of the action button. And what I can do with this is kind of crazy. So obviously I have the weather, I have Spotify, the date and the time, boring, who cares? But this one is really cool. So if I hit the shortcuts button here, I have this kind of menu option that comes up and it allows me to do any of these things by the click of a button. So really if I want to silence my phone or navigate home wherever I am or play music through Spotify, I could turn off that light back there. Like, look at this, the light's off. It's gonna be off, right? It's off. And then if I want to turn it on, I also have a button for that as well. So I could turn on the lights. So it's actually really cool and gives me quick access to a bunch of different things all at once without needing to do much more than clicking a button a couple of times. In order to set up this shortcut slash action button, open up the shortcuts app. It's wise to rename the shortcut. So click the top area and select rename, call it whatever you want. Now in order to create the menu, click add action and search for menu. Then click choose from menu. This is where you can choose your menu options. To do so, click here and label your menu options. Let's use mute switch. For a second one, we can choose camera. In order to add functionality at the bottom, tap search for actions and type in silent mode. You can just tap and hold the option that you see under scripting and drag it. And you're gonna want to drag it under the mute toggle action. Now for open camera, click at the bottom and I like to type in camera. Then click open camera and again, drag it under the open camera section. And you can essentially do this with any app or shortcut you want and it's pretty easy and straightforward. Now, once you added your labels and your actions, you're gonna to want to click done at the top and then head over to the lock screen of your iPhone. At the lock screen, add a widget for the shortcut, then set it to open up the shortcut you just created. Every time you click it, you're gonna have a menu option like you just created, and it's kind of like a virtual action button. If you found this video useful, let me know down below in the comments. And also while you're there, let me know what apps you suggest that I should use. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.